Hi, boys and girls. So we are on module five of lesson one. Um, we decided to go back to module five so that we can practice some skills that we were learning during that time. Some addition and subtraction within 1000. It's an important skill for you to have. Um, so it's, we thought it would be good to go back and make sure we really solidify that. Our I can statement for today is that I can relate 10 more, 10 less, 100 more, and 100 less to addition and subtraction of 10 and 100. So let's get started on our fluency. When I say a number, I'm going to point to you, and I want you to say the number that's 10 more than that. Ready? 10. Good. 20. 67. Good. 77. 95. Good. 105. Now I want you to say what's 10 less than that number. Ready? 20. Good. 10. 78. Good. 68. 107. Good, 97. Now we're going to do 100 more. Ready? 37. Good, 137. 8. Good, 108. 88. Good, 188. Now I want you to do a hundred less. Ready? A hundred fifty. Good. Fifty. A hundred fifty-nine. Good. Fifty-nine. A hundred seventy. Good. Seventy. Now we have our application problem. Our application problem says, the shelter rescued 27 kittens in June. In July, 11 kittens were rescued. In August, 40 more were rescued. Part A asks, how many kittens did the shelter rescue during those three months? Part B asks, if 64 of those kittens found homes by the end of August, how many still needed homes? So I'm going to switch my screen so that you can see my board. And I have my read, draw, write checklist. So I'm going to check off read because we've already read our problem. And I'm going to use a tape diagram to solve this. So I have my tape diagram of 27. And that's for June. 11. For July and I need to add 40 for August right okay. so I have 27 11 and 40 now I'm going to use a place value chart to add this up I have my hundreds, my tens, and my ones. I'm going to start with 27 plus 11. So first I'm going to show 27 on my place value chart. So I have how many ones? Good, 7. And how many tens? Good, two. And now I need to add 11. Do we start in the tens or the ones column? Good, we always start in the ones column, so we're going to add one. So if we had seven and we added one more, what do we have now? Good, eight. And now we're going to go over to our tens column. We had two and we add one more. So now how many do we have? Good, three. So we have 38 so far. Now we still need to add our 40. So we're going to do 40 or 38 
plus that last 40. So remember, now we already have our 38 on our hundred tens of ones place value chart. We had to add 40 more. So we're going to start in our ones column as we always do, but they're not adding anything. So we have 8 plus 0, we're still going to have 8. Now we need to add 4 more to our tens column. We have 3 plus 4, so let's add 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's see how many we have now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 38 plus 40 is 78. So we've read our problem, we've drawn our picture, and now we need to write our sentence for part A. So there are, there are 78 kittens. that the shelter rescued. Period. So we answered part A, but now I need to answer part B. So I'm going to leave that up there, but I'm going to erase my board. So we have the shelter rescued 78 kittens, but part B asks us, if 64 of those kittens found homes by the end of August, how many still needed homes? So now the set part of those 78, 64 of them left, they found a home. So we need to take away those 64 to figure out how many are still there. So we're gonna do 78 minus that 64 that left to find out how many are still at the shelter. So we're going to make our place value chart. We only need the tens and a ones column because we know the first number is only a tens and ones. And if we're taking away, our number is going to get smaller. So there's nothing going to be in the hundreds place. So let's show 78. There are eight ones. And seven tens. So now we need to take away 64. So if we do, do we start in our tens or in our ones column? Good, we always start in our ones column. So we're going to do 8 minus 4. So let's take away 4. I'm going to cross them off. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's see how many are left. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are 4 in the ones column. Now we do 7 minus 6 for our tens column. So one, two, three, four, five, six. How many is left? But there's one left. So our answer is 14. So for part B, there would be 14 kittens left in the shelter. So part A is the shelter rescued 78 kittens, and part B would be there would be 14 kittens left in the shelter. So we've read our problem, we've drawn our picture, and we've written our sentences. Let's go back to see what our next problems are. So it says, show 157 with place value disk. Show 10 more and 100 more. Fill in the sentences and write addition sentences. So if you have 157 and you added 10 more to that. If you have 157 and you add 10 more to that, what do you get? Let's look at my chart. So I have 157, and if I had 10 more, that's 110. So 110 is equal to 10. So I'm going to add one more 10. And so what do I get? I have seven ones still. I now have one, two, three, four, five, six tens, and I still have 100. 
So I have 167. So in that chart, it would say 10 more than 157 is 167. 167 is 10 more than 157. Now it asks us, 100 more than 157 is what? So I'm going to fix this chart. We had 157 there. And now I'm going to add 100. 100 is equal to 100. So I'm going to add one more 100 here. So I still have our seven ones, our five tens. And now how many hundreds do I have? Good, 200. So it's now going to be 257. So if I go back to my prompts, it says 100 more than 157 is 257. 257 is 100 more than 157. Now on the right side, it says show 157 was placed by a disc. Show 10 less and 100 less. Fill in the, the sentences and write subtraction sentences. So if I have 157, and I take away 10. Remember, 10 is equal to 110. I have 100, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 tens, and I still have 7 ones. So I have 147. So 10 less than 147, or 157 is 147. Now they want us to do 100 less than 157. So I have my 157 here, and they want us to do 100 less. So remember, 100 is equal to 100. So I'm going to take my 100 away, and I still have my 57. My 5 tens and my 7 ones. So 100 less than 50, 157 is 57. 57 is 100 less than 157. So if you look here, here's our problem set for today. It says complete more or less statement. So you're going to be working on filling in 10 more and 10 less than a number, 100 more and 100 less than a number, and filling in these problems that go along with it. Number two, you're going to complete the regular number prop pattern. So if you have 170, 180, 190, what are you counting by? What are you adding? Good, you're adding tens. So your next one would be 200. Now you're going to keep adding tens. And then it wants you to fill in the rest. So you have 420, 410, 400. What is your pattern? Are you adding 10? Are you taking away 10? Are you adding 100? Are you taking away 100? You have to figure it out for A through F. And then for this, you, it's the same thing that you're doing in this, but it just looks a little bit different. They tell you you're taking the 10 away. So if you take 10 away from 389, you now have, you're taking it out of the, the 10's place. So that's where the 8 is. So it's going to be 8 minus the 110. So it's going to be eight, 379. Then you're going to, I'm sorry, you're adding it. So it's going to be 399. Then you're adding 100. So you're going to be working in the 100's place. You're going to continue that for all these problems. And this you're going to be doing the same arrow way. Remember, you have done the C4, but if you need help, Ms. Gu and I have been do, are doing Zoom meetings at 1 o'clock each day, and we can help you solve these problems. Um, so if you have any questions, please join us, and make sure you send us pictures of your work when you're all done. Keep up the hard work. We're super proud of you guys, and we love you and we miss you. Bye, everyone.